first time I'm in the Opera House. And it is a, a magnificent theater uh, that is on a par with the other great national opera houses across Europe. I just love this um, Romanian timbre and I think this is a country where where you find a lot of talents and I'm trying to to uh, bring other colleagues to Romania and to show them how many um, talents are here in this country. My colleagues at the Academia Teatro La Scala, um, they, they are running from several years professional development projects at the at the Opera House. Um, it used to be on uh, management uh, and now it's more on the technician side for stage professionals. And they, are, they, they, they told me that it's uh, incredibly uh, rewarding to work here. I'm familiar with the Bucharest Opera because it's a very important international institution, but that's my first time uh, in, in Bucharest. So it's the first time that I, I, I have the opportunity to visit uh, the Bucharest Opera. I was look, really looking forward to it uh, and it has been a great, great pleasure. Of course, that, that uh, even without being here, I mean, uh, I think everybody in the opera world is, is familiar with uh, Bucharest Opera, especially with the extraordinary level of, of of uh, Romanian singers. We all have uh, Romanian singers in our cast and uh, their the, the, the level is extraordinary and, and that's for sure thanks to the fantastic work that conservatoires and theatres are doing in Romania. I think it's interesting we were just mentioning collaboration to have one of the, I think, the great British directors working here with decades of experience is just the sort of new combination that I think gets interesting results. I think the Bucharest Opera is a very important um, player in the operatic and cultural scene of Romania and it was a great pleasure last night to see, for example, the performance of Inescu's Edip, which was of a very high level and it was fantastic to let's say, experience and discover this piece done here in Romania in the heart. It was fantastic to listen to the auditions of young singers and get to know musicians from your country. Theater, which is a beautiful theater, uh, and uh, also to see the production yesterday of UNESCO. So I, I really enjoyed that. It was a very modern uh, production. And what I find is that people here are very efficient and helpful and nice. And so that's a good introduction to uh, the Bucharest Opera. And um, yeah, it's a, it, people are very serious about the art form, which I think is very important to make a good uh, opera house. It is fantastic to be able to have the Opera Europa conference here because it is an opportunity, first of all, to show to the outside world what you're doing and also to take, is to give and to take. And I hope actually also, therefore, there will be a before the Opera Europa conference and a after the Europa conference. It's my first time here in Bucharest and uh, I'm the first time here also in this very beautiful opera house and uh, for me it was a big impression that you have such a big and, and great opera house and uh, I loved the, the stage and uh, I think it's, uh, it was worth to go here, to come here and it's, uh, I will of course come back. One of the reasons we together chose Falstaff and Enescu's Edip was that they would show the company show many voices, many people, and different contrasted dramas. Falstaff, as you know, is a comedy, and this production is very English, which was quite an interesting international mixture of, of, of Romanian singers and, and, and English direction. Um, for me, the production of Edip was an absolutely wonderful experience, to hear that here in this theater, in this country, done with such sensitivity and beauty, uh, with your orchestra, your chorus, 
your singers and the wonderful production of Valentina Carrasco. It was a very memorable moment for me. Este un eveniment important pentru Opera Națională ca să vină atâția reprezentanți ai diferitelor teatre de operă din Europa și spre mirarea mea, deși este Opera Europe, sunt și până și din America de Sud și până și din Hong Kong au venit. Curiozitatea stărnică de Direcția Operei Naționale a prins. Prezența acestor personalități o să aducă cu siguranță și la urmări și consecințe favorabile pentru activitatea Operei Naționale.